monitor any website that you frequently track using Bardeen.ai and automate your process of going to a website, checking if anything changes and going back to your workflow. So I'm going to show you how you can use Bardeen.ai to check when a website data changes, then do something. In this example, I'm going to show you how you can track a LinkedIn profile to see if their profile information changes. And if it does, then send a Slack message. This can also apply for many other use cases. For example, tracking the price on a product, tracking the prices on the flights, and many other ideas that can come. Let's get to it. So first, I'm going to open, I'm going to deactivate this one, and I'm going to create a new auto book. And I'm going to use a trigger, and you can find them here in the triggers of when something happens. And what I want to happen is that when website data changes, then I'm going to do something. So I'm going to use this trigger called when that I want. And I'm going to use a scrapper template to check on which data changes from that website. If you're not familiar with scrapper templates, go ahead to our YouTube channel and you will find multiple videos related to what are scrapper templates and how you can build your own. So here I'm going to use a scrapper template for LinkedIn and I'm going to track a URL. In this case, I'm going to track my LinkedIn profile. So I can just put in my LinkedIn profile, select link, and that's it. And this will track only my LinkedIn profile. If you want to do it for multiple links, you can do it this way. You can use the command all links in text. And in this text, you can input multiple links. For example, I'm going to take this URL and this URL, and I'm going to add them here. I'm going to add the first one space and add the second one space. This can also work if you copy paste from a link of uh, Google Sheets or now I have the text and I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to hit done and uh, I'm going to save this. Monitor LinkedIn profiles. I'm going to name this playbook. I'm going to save it and then close the builder. Perfect. Now I can activate this auto book. Okay, and now I should be able to see how this auto book opens the, this pages in the background. So it won't interrupt my workflow and it will check if the data changes from those profiles. So uh, I'm going to change something in my profile so that uh, this uh, auto book can notify me about something. But first I need to edit the auto book to add another action. So in this case, I want this auto book to tell me about the title of this person if it changes. And I'm going to do it via Slack. So I'm going to send a Slack message to myself with the message title has changed. And I'm going to append using a comma and then use the data from the trigger action. So I, here I have all the fields that my scrapper template gets, and I'm going to use the field title. I'm going to hit done, and I'm going to save this. So what will this do is that it'll, tr it'll check if my title changes, and if it does, then it'll send me a Slack message. I'm going to close the builder. I'm going to activate this. Perfect. And now, uh, the first time, it'll Now, I'm going to change my information on my title. Perfect. So my title has just changed and this Audiobook will check these links frequently during the day when you have your Chrome extension open. And the good thing is you won't even notice because this will run on the background. So this will monitor it in a certain time. And I. All 
All right, now it's triggered and this should check if the data has changed. And now I have my message here saying title has changed and the name of the title. So this is how you can get this auto book to work and you can customize it to work for your use case. Um, let us know your use case on our Slack community, please join. And that's it for this video.